Hello, my name is James Ross, the multimedia editor at SBC, and I'm delighted to say I'm joined by Jovana Popovich Chenaki, the deputy CEO of IGP. Hello, welcome. How are you doing today? Thank you, James. It's a, it's a lovely day in Lisbon today, despite the weather changing and the sun hiding, but it's a great, uh, it's great to be here. You're three months into your role as the deputy CEO at IGP, but I kind of, kind of want to look into your career before you joined IGP. So can you just kind of give us a bit of a, a flavor of what you went through, because some of the challenges that you faced in your previous career and kind of how they strengthened you into your new role as the deputy CEO? It has been um, over 17 years now since I stepped my foot into the iGaming industry by pure chance, by the way. And I've absolutely loved every step of the way. Now our industry is very special and, and very unique. But what enticed you to take this role with IGP and the deputy CEO role? For me, it's never about the role. And uh, when the opportunity um, came along for, for IGP, for me, it was about the company really um, and uh, you know when I when I heard first about this opportunity when I was approached um, everything was screaming in my head just one word potential and this is what IGP um, is about. What challenges do you kind of expect to face running a B2B iGaming firm? There are many challenges of course as in any company but I would pick one which is I think the the essential one for the clients it's it's actually about putting together the right formula for the success if you look at you know all the clients that that any b2b i gaming company has they're all different they come from different places from different cultures nationalities having different strategy vision even budgets you know so it's about understanding all of that, what, uh, what the story is behind and what is the potential. But then at the same time, being a B2B, you need to have the product, um, the product stack, the tech stack flexible enough to actually cater for, for the variety of those parameters that I've, I've just mentioned. And putting that all together into one solution to allow the client to reach their goal. And what appealed to you most about IGP? Um, kind of looking into the industry and what trends do you kind of see from the firm kind of what you should be looking out for so it's really about the the combination of all the right things right people right products right right uh, tech stack and at IGP we have all of that you know we have the right base to, to build on top to create new products and to, to launch them. Uh, speaking of launching new things, um, last year or year and a half even, I think, we spent time looking at the crypto solutions um, from focus groups to, to literally looking at every pixel of the front end. And uh, we're finally here now. Uh, we're about to launch the three crypto gaming brands. Um, extremely exciting. And looking into your crystal ball, how do you expect 2025 to perform for IGP? The, the ambitions of IGP are very high. Our, our product pipeline is extremely big, as I mentioned, from you know, the crypto solutions, launching three brands and more to the iGaming deck, gamification layer, sportsbook, um, you know, the, the modernized front end. New markets, we're going to be um, opening at least two new markets next year. But all of that, I think more into the more important um, part would be the scalability. We want to look and find a way how to increase that. Um, we're today probably in the hundreds of sites and brands. We want to be in the thousands. And then from a personal perspective, what do you aim to achieve with IGP as a as the deputy CEO? I want to bring everything together. Um, the people, the product, the tech, uh, and this amazing pipeline for, for everyone, for the clients for and for the end clients, for the players, because everything that we do is actually for the, for the end customer, for the player. Uh, and I think that, you know, my personal aim is to bring some purple into the iGaming. I think that the iGaming industry needs some purple. 